taketh by force. I want to preach to you from the subject on this morning. May the force be with you. Amen. Can you look at your neighbor and just wish that to your neighbor say, may the force be with you. May the force be with you. Force oh, yeah. be with you. Uh, we must really begin to understand and embrace the power of God that we have in the kingdom. Uh, why I say that we have to understand it because you don't, if you don't understand what you have, so you can know what you have and still not understand what you have. Okay? Uh, if you don't really understand what you have, uh, you will either abuse it yeah. or you won't use it at all. Yeah. Hmm? You, you have to understand uh, what you have. For example, uh, if you give a two-year-old a, a cell phone, the same cell phone get to a two-year-old, then the same cell phone give to a ten-year-old, then the same cell phone give to a thirty-year-old. It's the same phone, but it's three levels of understanding. Yeah. You give it to the two-year-old, they're going to slob on it, they're going to drool on it, they're going to throw it, they're going to leave it uh, in, in the toy box, they're gonna, you're going to be looking for the phone, they're going to have it amongst the pacifiers, and we're trying to suck on the antenna, it's going to be, uh, 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 what, what's, what like? my dog was like sweet potatoes, it's going to be sweet potatoes all in the keys. To a 10 year old, all they want to do is play Angry Birds and uh, Minecraft. But that same cell phone, you give it to a 30 year old man, a 30 year old woman, they're going to know how to surf and get information from it, make calls, receive calls, make texts, receive texts, Facebook, Twitter, whatever they want to do. Same phone, but three levels of understanding. Look at your neighbor and say, You have to bring up your understanding. Come on, tell them again, pull up your understanding. Because sometimes you can understand the world with one level, but understand the kingdom of God on another level. Your chronological age has nothing to do with your age in the kingdom. You can be a 30-year-old baby in the kingdom of God. Huh? Not understanding what you have. Not understanding the power that you possess. So what happens is that that power either gets abused or it doesn't get used at all. And what I've come to find out is that God wants his kingdom self-sustaining. In other words, he, he has designed it that all that we need is in the kingdom of God. In other words, we don't have to go to anyone else for help because all of our help is in the kingdom of God. The Bible says, I will look to the hills from which cometh my help and all of my help, somebody shall I all, come and say again, all, all of my help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and the earth. In other words, if all of my help come from the Lord, then that means I don't need to go to anybody else. Uh, when you look at CNN, when you look at uh, these other these other channels, uh, these other countries, these other kingdoms uh, that always have to get help from other nations, yes. they may get the help, but the help comes with so many strings attached. Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. Uh, they get so much help, but but but, but help uh, offers that nation that's giving them help. It gives them an advantage over that nation. Yes, hmm? right. uh, why do you think? that America tries to be as self-sustaining as possible because we don't want anybody over our head pulling our strings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the same way in the kingdom of God. You have to look for your help in the kingdom of God. All that you need is in the kingdom of God. See, because you, you, you may be going through something, but you have to look in the kingdom of God because if you go to the kingdom of Rahim, he might help you ladies, but it might come with some strings attached. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. He might help you. He might put five on it. He might help you out with a couple of meals, but it's going to come with some strings attached. It's not going to come for free. He may say that it's free, but maybe it ain't. That's right. That's right. That's right. All that you need is in the kingdom of God. Tell them somebody is in the kingdom. So I never in a day where the kingdoms and systems of this world are opposing the people of God more than ever before. Hmm? Huh? If you don't realize, and if you haven't realized that you're in a fight right now, chances are you may already be knocked out. And we cannot afford, we cannot afford in this day to just be reactive. 
funny. But if we're going to do anything for God, we have to be proactive as it relates to the kingdom of God. Yeah. You just can't be reactive. We can't react to everything. But sometimes we have to go on the offense. Yeah. Hmm? And we as a people of God, see, the thing is, is that we want God, but on the other hand, we still want control over our circumstances. All right, let me help you. Out. Let me help you. Uh, we, 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 we want God. But yet and still, we want control. We want control over our circumstances. Mm -hmm. In other words, you heard me say before, we don't mind him being Savior, but sometimes we have a problem with him being Lord. Because the Savior is the one who rescues us, but the Lord is the one who calls the shots. Somebody, I've been exonerated. Come on, tell someone else, I've been exonerated. 